I do not come to Santa Cruz to start trouble. I come to Santa Cruz to get away from the trouble. But yes, I have been to Santa Cruz County Jail and I got a release from my record. We'll call it a misunderstanding. We moved on, okay? So I go to the beach to see women uh, looking sexy and once in a while, one smiles at me. It's like, it makes me feel a lot better than being, you know, in the woods, but it's kooky. White people and some of them are cool trying to reason with the others. Some are cops, some are white supremacists, some are just regular people, and it's all a mind fuck, you know? And it's like you see yourself fighting for honor, it's hard on it, brother. These, you know, them coming for me many, many times, in some ways is worse than being in prison over a long period of time, with your niggas feeling respected. You feel just pushed around at every turn and singled out, as opposed to being in a group pushed around, you know, which is bad too. And I'm not saying I was better off in, pit, in the pit, I wasn't. But you gotta see there are parallels. It does fuck with your head. And it does make you resent them. And I'm the leopard who wants to lay with the, the sheep and the children. Not like gay, you know, no, no, I'm not a pedophile. I swear to God, I'll never ever even consider being a pedophile or gay. But these people do this to you, man. They, they come for you all the time. And then some cops aren't so bad. It's like their job is to keep us down. Their job is to control reproduction, you know? Their job is to provoke us and to drug us to mess up our dexterity and our focus so we can't sh outdo the children of the elite. And in the process, we can't outdo the whites who live next to us, who many of them who don't really have a problem with us outshining them, you know, but they've been put in this situation. And so it's all one big mindfuck as you start adding everything together. You see, it's the, you know, when you look at the source of all this, I do think it suggests it's the white Jew. But some of the white Jews are obviously my brothers. Some are in my fucking family. So obviously I differentiate. You know, I have no problem with my cousin. I have no problem with his side of the family. You know, I wish him the best. You know, but there are some fucking dogs. Remember, I'm part Jewish, part, you know, part black, part white. And, you know, I just call it how I see it, man. And that's why. When you do the right thing, all the criminals who are stopping at nothing to control reproduction, they get in their mix like you wouldn't believe, man. Read Isaiah 11, okay, read Nahum 3, okay, read Amos 9, 7. They give the black man their props in the Bible, like no, you know, in a very deep, profoundly spiritual way, in a religion that has over 2 billion people who believe in Jesus, right? Think, think if you're a white supremacist in the elite, and you're a white Jew, and you think, hey, people, if we don't dumb down people and control them and give, do genetic engineering and turn it up, if they turn it up on us, and these blacks are going to overtake us. The answer isn't to give in and say, oh, they got all their technology and act like a little bitch. You know? These people came at us like, are you going to be slaves or are you going to have no jobs? I came at them like a revolution. And I'm sorry it has to be like this. But you know that God gave us an agreement, my white Jewish brothers and their allies. You all broke it. You all defied God. There will be no spiritual peace. My righteousness will be my belt, so I need not wear a belt or a sash. And I don't, but I do wear the uniform. And I swear I didn't consciously think of that when I do these things. But something told me not to. Obi essence, obey. Think about all the, the names with Obi, okay? The Obi, the first son, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, martial artists, Jedi Knights, they're a special group of martial artists, right? And Luke Skywalker, right? And I've gone over this before. Okay, that is a whitewash of an African story, just like when they do Egypt. There were great white people back in the day, you know? The problem, the problem is that all the other races paled in comparison to the African warriors in Egypt. And that really hurt a lot of people's feelings. Just like, just imagine if everything was basketball. Basketball is like dexterity and so on. It's an agreement between black secret societies and whites to illustrate in a not so embarrassing way the physical prowess of the black man and how it relates to other races. So if we lived in a, in a society where everyone had the same weapons and the game was like basketball, right? And it was fighting, dexterity, agility, teamwork, right? Timing, isn't timing a key part of basketball? Isn't form, stances, footwork, skywalking footwork, martial arts footwork, okay? So if everything was basketball, who would shine the most? Michael Jordan, you'd have a Michael Jordan Pharaoh, you know, the top martial artist, the head of all martial arts priesthoods, right? He's trained by the best. His kid is some 
you know, brave man with powerful genes. And he has the genes of his father, and he's trained by the best. You see what I'm saying? So naturally, with all due respect, basketball has already proven the point. And I used to play basketball, and no one could beat me at martial arts. Okay, it has already proven black natural supremacy. But that doesn't mean that, oh, just because God chose a certain group of blacks to be the master race and God's chosen race, doesn't mean it has the same implications that the Roman perspective wants you to have. We don't tell you what to do. God gave us free will. There has to be one group of people that naturally excels above every other. It's just common sense. And it's like God chose them and they have great responsibility. To him which much is given, much is expected. You know, just because I'm taller than you doesn't mean you should pretend you're taller than I am because you realize the significance if that was to matter. And I'm not saying it does. But it is called growing up, rising to the occasion, and on and on and on. Right? But no, being tall isn't everything. Doing the things in the Bible, being a divinely inspired martial artist is what made me who I am. Not being tall. So, you know, it's because no one wants to give Judah their props this is happening because of the black people judah is the bell that rings the loudest beautiful ethiopian women and the might of the the, the black man in the heart think of osiris as the heart and isis and isis as ethiopia mother the motherland right abyssinia isis as ethiopia the kushites the mother of the kushites right and Nigeria is the heart, the trigger. They trigger mental illness. They trigger our complex. They trigger our behavior. They want to control. That's what the experiment is about. Make them aggressive, calm them down with substances and psychology. Use substances and psychology to make them aggressive, calm them down. Now we're going to do that to a whole group of people, small group, bigger, 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 bigger. We'll have a party. We'll have a bigger group of people. We, we use it on a, a, a huge biker gang. Dude, that's going to work on these niggers. I'll tell you. Excuse my language. But you get my point? I promise you. Look! Dude, I used to be a fucking crip for many years. I promise you this is going on. I'm not some fucking weird fucking consp I am a brain surgeon son with 175 IQ with a up to $100,000 top martial artist challenge. And you are going to listen to me. Our kids are at stake here. A lot of what Alex Jones and these other guys are saying are, is, is right. They just leave out what it's really about. It's this black Jew versus white Jew sh bullshit. And instead of them just doing the right thing, they're killing us. And I'm not saying all oh, white Jews are evil. That's why I call it bullshit. I got white Jews in my family. I have white Jews in my family. It is these Satanists who went against God. And there's some in every tribe. And you need and 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 they're mainly funded by these specific, this specifically, particularly pernicious and deplorable group of unbearable knaves who need to be dealt with for their unnerving activity. If you get my fucking drift. Thank you.